So, welcome back to my next tutorial where I will show you how to set up Eclipse with MCP. So, well, what is Eclipse? Eclipse is a free Java editor or coding editor in usual and has really good features to work with MCP. So, we will download it. from Eclipse.org We go to Downloads and I prefer the Eclipse EDE for Java development for Windows 64 bit. I have to choose a mirror and the mirror is starting and it took a few seconds to download the 150 megabyte. So I can close these after that. 40 seconds to go. So here we go, download is finished, I can close this and open my file editor again. So, my download folder. The download folder I have now Eclipse, Java, Kepler, SR1 and so on and so on. And I just open it. Inside this file I will find another folder called Eclipse, which I just simply copy to my tutorial folder. You don't have to install Eclipse. You simply have to copy the folder to another folder and go inside. Inside you have Eclipse exec and this file we start. So the first time you open this uh, tool you will be asked for a workspace. What is a workspace? The workspace is basically the environment where Eclipse is working in. Do you have some things like that on your PC? No? Sure? Yes, of course you have, because MCP is our workspace. So we browse on now and I select the tutorial folder, the Forge folder, the MCP folder and inside this MCP folder you will notice a folder called Eclipse. We will select this folder and say OK. So Desktop, Tutorials, Forge, MCP, Eclipse. OK. So this is Eclipse. On this side, here we have all the subfolders located, SRC, CO, UK, France Mod, Model, here we have the Modern Warfare models, like the AK-47. And so on and so on. So, what's the thing with Eclipse? Why is it good? Well, basically because we can do this. Just press run and we insert Minecraft. No recompile first, no rebuild, just hitting by run. And the other stuff is we have a complete error log. Here you can see if something is not correct with your package. Is the model not loaded? why it's not loaded, and so on, and so on, and so on. 
as you see, currently all is correct. So it's a really good thing and it's free and you can edit your models here or even you can edit Flans mod if you want to do that. So this completes my tutorial and uh, next tutorial I will show how to set up your own package for Minecraft 164. Bye bye.